All right, well, good Monday evening to you. Recording this about 9.30 on this Monday night. And let me warn you before you uh, get in on this, there's going to be changes by the time you may watch this with updates from this Hurricane Sally. So, again, this is as of about 10 o'clock on this Monday night. Now understand, changes could happen. Please keep checking back with us. All right, here's a look at radar. We got a few showers out there, not much, but you see Hurricane Sally down to the south. As of this recording, it was a Category 2 a storm with winds of miles an hour sustained. Here's the information on that. Uh, pressure at 988 millibars, moving west-northwest at 5 miles per hour. Uh, there's a convective burst taking place now over the center of the storm, and this is going to uh, gradually become better organized. There's been some wind shear, some dry air kind of hampering this uh, thing from becoming extremely wrapped up. But again, it is getting better organized tonight and due to the environment it is going to be in on this organization trend should continue. So we've got hurricane warnings for the Alabama Gulf Coast, also the Florida Panhandle for areas near Pensacola, uh, for Panama City Beach and Destin to Apalachicola, we've got tropical storm warnings, and those hurricane warnings go uh, back west towards New Orleans. And uh, again, that's what we're looking at. Inland tropical storm warnings for Choctaw, Clark, and Washington and Alabama. Uh, so there could be tropical storm force winds there. And again, winds are beginning to pick up tonight across South Alabama. Here's the track for the Hurricane Center. And again, this will change, so keep checking back. We'll post all these updates through social media overnight tonight, during the day tomorrow. Looks like the landfall potentially around midnight Tuesday night. Uh, so again, it'll be before Wednesday morning sunrise. As high in Category 2, it's not out of the question. This could be Category 3 at landfall. Uh, this moves up towards Montgomery on Thursday, and on this track, the main impacts will be south of our area in terms of wind. Uh, I don't think there's any sort of tornado risk with this setup uh, here. So in terms of winds, yes, it will be breezy Tuesday into Thursday. Uh, winds around 10 to 30 for much of central Alabama. Uh, for areas generally near and south of Highway 80, looking at winds from 30 to 40 in gusts, and then higher than that, uh, down to the south, over 100 miles an hour from the lower end of Mobile and Baldwin County. So that's where your powerful winds going to be. Storm surge 7 to 10 feet for portions of the Alabama coast and also the Mississippi and Louisiana Gulf Coast uh, for the Pensacola area, around 3 to 6 feet, and from Destin to Panama City, about 1 to 4 feet water rise. So on the Alabama coast, hurricane conditions Tuesday afternoon, especially into Tuesday night, and that occurring into Wednesday morning as well. Winds of 60 to 100 miles an hour, possibly higher in spots, depends on where the eye wall comes on. Flash flood watch continues for most of central Alabama. Look, here's the deal. Depending on where the core of this thing tracks, we'll determine where this actual band sets up. So we're looking at a potentially 5 to 6 inches for areas near or maybe even to the south of Interstate 59. Uh, higher total south of there, close to that core. Uh, there may be a sharp cutoff to the northwest, and, and again, that could be further north or south. It just depends on where this thing goes exactly. I mean, a 70 mile difference could make a major difference in your local area. Uh, 83 tonight, a little breezy. Uh, again, winds circulating around the hurricane to our south. We got showers on radar tonight, and again, those are gradually fading away. They'll redevelop during the day tomorrow. Good chance for scattered showers during the day tomorrow. Here's our future cast model. You'll see, again, showers possible tomorrow at times with those spiraling bands. And then your heavier rain begins to set in for portions of our area heading into Wednesday. Again, could be a deal. This model is further southeast. Could be a deal where your heavier rain is south of part of our coverage area. So it is tricky in that term. So 78 on Wednesday. I think we'll be in the 70s all day Wednesday and Thursday. Clouds and rain. And the weekend looks very nice.